So in this video, I want to take a little deeper look at the uh, Bartlett Labs Model 1 Replacement Expansion Interface, the MIRE. Uh, upon uh, hit Bartlett Labs website, there's a lot of good information, photos, etc. There's a utility program that comes with called DSK, and that's what I want to look at in a bit more detail in this video. There's some information here on uh, the DSK program and what some of the commands do. We will go ahead and look uh, on the Model 1 at some of those commands and how they interact. Uh, the MIRE uses an SD card to hold contents. I have that SD card mounted here and we can see the files that are on it. Uh, one of the first things I did was created a backups folder and then made a copy of all these images in the backups folder just in case I screw up. You can also download uh, the image file for the SD card from his website if you need to re-image it. Uh, first couple of things to note here is the SD card has a bunch of DMK files on it. Those are disk images uh, that the uh, MIRE uses to mount floppies. Uh, there are two data files on the secure digital card, floppy 0 and floppy 1. And if we take a look at one of these, uh, let me get notepad sized a little better here, we'll see that for floppy 0, LDOS531.DMK yeah, it is listed and what this will do when the MIRE is powered up is it'll look for this file and if it's there it'll read the DMK file name out and it'll mount that file automatically. And of course for floppy one we have the same thing. So floppy one will mount the uh, MIRE utility.dmk file. You could create a floppy two and three if you wanted to and, and mount DMK images. Uh, it comes with a number of DMK images pre-configured on here. There's of course the utility DMK we were just looking that gets mounted out on floppy one. Uh, LDOS images etc and some blank floppy images 3540 and any track. So anyhow there's a quick look at the files on the SD card. Let's go ahead and go over and bring up the model one and take a look at how DSK interacts with these files. So this is the setup we have. I've got the MIRE down here. I've got the SD card. Let me go ahead and insert it. You can swap the SD card in and out uh, live as long as the TR80 is not trying to read or write files on it. I've got a floppy drive over here connected as drive 2. It's a double sided, double density 40 track. Floppy uh, cable comes off here, and then I've got the MIRE, MIRE jumpered over to my Model 1. And we've got the display here on the Model 1. And let me lock the camera here in position. And we'll power up the Model 1. And it's gone out and it's booting. And it is 07, I believe it's the 10th. And so what's happened here is when the MIRE was powered up, we loaded that uh, floppy. DMK image it was specified in the floppy 0.dat file and it mounted the floppy the other DMK image that was uh, called out for on the floppy 1.dat file. We've booted from that floppy 0 uh, image and we're in LDOS. And of course we can take a look at the contents of that DMK file. One of the things I want to point out here is I have copied the DSK utility onto the floppy zero image. Uh, as shipped, it's on the floppy uh, mounted floppy one image just so I can unmount floppy one if I want to. So we've got our LDOS drive zero. We've got the MIRE utility uh, mounted on drive one. And we've got that external floppy that's just a formatted blank floppy. So let's go ahead and jump into DSK and take a look. We're in DSK. I can bring up the help screen. Scroll this up a bit. It might be easier to see. There are several commands we can do here. Uh, the ones I'm interested in talking about today are these. There's the STAP program, or the, or the STAP utility. And what it does is it tells us that floppy zero has the LDOS531.DMK file on the SD card mounted on it. Floppy one has the MIRUtility.DMK dmk file mounted on it. These are both write protected. Uh, write protection here is 
uh, emulation of the right protect notch being covered on the floppy disk. Again, we can get bring up help. I'm going to unprotect both disks, so we can do a W prot, and I believe it's dash R. One friend remember here. Zero right protect reset on drive zero. W prot. Again, reset it on drive one. And if I do a stat now, you can see that after the zero and one, it no longer says WP. So these images are now writable. I had to do this for drive zero to be able to copy the DMK utility to it. Let's go back and look at stat. If I do an ls here, some of you may recognize ls as the directory command uh, from the days of Unix. ls will show us the content of the SD card. So that we can see on the SD card, there's these files and, and the backups folder. Uh, a moment ago, uh, we looked at the backups folder. I mentioned that I, you know, I had created that and backed up copies of all these images onto it. Uh, Take a look at stat, and let's go ahead and mount. And which floppy should we mount? Uh, let's go ahead and mount, I guess, LDOS 531w.dmk on drive one. And if we do a stat now, you can see that I have swapped that DMK file out on drive one. Uh, it mounted it right protected. I'm going to go ahead and put the MRE utility back in place. So I can go ahead and mount uh, MIRE util.dmk. Let's drive one. And we see that we, we swapped that floppy image back and forth. I'm going to go ahead also, I'm going to mount, oops, I'm going to mount another image on drive two. So if I mount, Let's just do the LDOS 531w.dmk and drive two and do a stat. We can see that I've got that image mounted. And if we quit back to LDOS and do a directory of drive two, what happens here is it's actually looking out that DMK file and we're seeing the contents of the DMK file we mounted as drive two. Let's go back into DSK. And we U mount drive to unmount. Take a look at a stat. Uh, floppy 2 now no longer has anything mapped to it. And if we quit back out and do a directory here now of drive 2, it's gone back and it's looking at the actual floppy drive that's mounted, you know, the physical floppy drive I've got on drive position 2. So by mounting a DMK file on a drive letter, it blocks pass through to the physical drive uh, at that letter. By unmounting a DMK image from that drive letter, you get back to the physical floppy. So at this point, I should be able to go in and do commands like, I'm not sure why I'm doing a directory. Let's go ahead and do a backup from drive one to drive two. And this will back up the mounted MIR utility DMK image on drive one to the physical floppy in drive two. So it's just a standard LDOS backup command. You may be able to hear it here accessing the floppy uh, in the background. And of course, this is now working at the actual speed of a physical floppy drive, which is not all that quick. So I'll let this run here for a second, and when it's done, we'll come back. So at this point, backup has copied the files from the uh, mounted DMK file on drive 1 to the physical floppy on drive 2. And of course, if we do a directory and look at the directory for each one of these, there's the mounted DMK file. And there's the physical drive too, and the head's being accessed, and there it is. We have the same information on both. If we go back into DSK, a 
There's a couple of interesting things we can do here. Uh, make dir, rm, cd, th th those etc. etc. will deal with the actual SD card files. So you have a bridge here between the physical floppy uh, and the DMK files. Uh, we can go ahead and do a directory of drive 2. The bang character there allowed us to go out and run a DOS command an LDOS command actually without exiting the DSK utility so I can see that I've got those files on drive 2 and if I do uh, an LS I can see the files I have on the SD card and I should be able to do a is it a git? Uh, we'll take DSK slash command Hopefully I'm doing this right. I don't remember if there's more specific help. So usage get from a TR city file to file. Okay, I'm using the wrong one. I want to do a put DSK slash command. So that will actually colon two. I want to get that from drive two. And I want to put it on the SD card again as DSK oops, slash command. Bad path not found. Well, obviously I don't know what I'm doing here. Of course, it was a simple typo keeping me from moving the file. But I wanted so if we do, if we look at the help for Git again, we're going to get a file from the TRS80 file uh, to file. So if I do a git dsk slash command, that's the proper file name for the LDOS, to dsk dot command, the period there is important because we're writing back to a, a like a FAT16 file system. So it's the LDOS command format to the uh, basically DOS command format. And so that will get the file from the TRS-80 file system and it'll write it back onto the actual SD card. So let that run. And if we do an LS now, well, we'll see that I've transferred a copy of dsk.command from uh, the mounted LDOS uh, DMK file onto the root of the SD card. You can go the opposite direction as well, so if you've got uh, files you want to move on to a, a floppy, or into a DMK image. You can, of course, do that, at least for DMK images, using several programs on your actual PC. Or you can copy those files onto the SD card, bring the system up, and then use put. Look at the help for put. Put will take a file from the SD card and put it onto a TRS-80 file. So, it's a uh, useful little utility. It's got a lot of nice functionality here. You label floppies. You saw the write, protect, enable, disable. Uh, there's a lot of Unix-like uh, commands here, or DOS-like, depending on your view of Maker, RM, etc. I mentioned these before that work against the SD card system. We can look at the SD card free space. Uh, there's almost eight gigs left on that card. It's a great little utility. Uh, it definitely bridges the SD card file system and the LDOS file system and the DMK images and or floppies. Anyhow, I hope this little demo was useful and we'll talk soon. Bye.